strawberries. <clears throat> Hi guys, this is Tim with Tim's Homestead. It's Monday the 13th, I think, September. Uh, I don't think I sh actually showed the strawberries the other day that I transplanted. So I'll show you some that and some things I've been working on. So this is a long 50 foot bed here. And I've got strawberries transplanted in it. These are like 20 foot beds. And I've got strawberries transplanted in it. In it and they all come from uh, this little short section of bed right here. Well, I did dig some up down there. I cleaned all this out. Uh, I don't know. There must be a, over a thousand plants in there still. I'm going to leave them there. Just in case these don't survive, then in the spring I can transplant them. And then my mother wants some of them too. I'll clean this out today. I cleaned some of this out. I still got a lot more to do. Sorry about that. The mosquitoes are, are really bad this time of night. It's like 7 o'clock, I think. And I cleaned all this bed out. And I wanted to show you guys what I've had to deal with and this is one of the weeds that I got when I ordered compost they had every noxious weed you can imagine in that compost I won't do that no more I'll just go without or I don't know I'll figure something out I did move some topsoil today from back at the pond that was dug and uh, I'll incorporate that into some compost or something I'm, that I'll make myself. But anyway, I've got these, this uh, grass. It gets really tall, and it got it's right got these rhizomes. Man, these things are everywhere. I I had to dig a whole lot of it out of that bed over there. Uh, yeah, I just got my hand dirty. I want to hold the camera. Okay, so I'll show you. Some of this stuff, <clears throat> it is no fun, let me tell you, trying to, trying to use uh, one hand here to dig this stuff up. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> I'm just throwing it in this bucket here and I'll get rid of it later. But it's, it's all through here. Uh, I got to come back later maybe tomorrow morning when it's cool out and finish digging that stuff up yeah. and I'm gonna get this bed ready pull all the weeds and tomatoes out of it today there's there's some more see it it's way down in there see it there anybody know what that stuff is There. <sighs> There's a piece of it. Look, look at that. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Horrible stuff. I never had this before until I bought compost. And there's, man, there's so much glass that was in that compost. Uh, the guy I bought it off of, well, the, the driver of the truck, he got stuck in my driveway a long time ago. He said that uh, they have a contract from, with the city of Cincinnati <laughs> and they tear down old houses and they run them houses through some kind of crusher or whatever, add some horse manure that they get for free, call it compost and sell that stuff for a lot of money. It's horrible. There's glass. I pulled out so much glass out of this yesterday. I'm pretty fed up. I ain't gonna buy that no more. I yeah, better not put that there. Right, hoary, hoary. Anyways, uh, so I've been tackling this, and 
when it gets a little warm during the day i go back and, and i move dirt back there and i'll walk you back there and show that show you that real quick Hang on. all right this is uh well mostly well a lot of it's topsoil come from the the new uh, pond back there uh, there is clay mixed in it. I don't know what to do about that, but I figured I'd try to use it to help make compost. Make me some good soil. Uh, figured I'd do it right here. Anyway, I moved a lot of dirt. Uh, I added to this back here. <coughs> See, all of this, the water was coming through and, and flooding this whole area here. So, I added all this extra dirt to try to keep that from happening back here. And uh, we'll see what happens when we get another six inches of rain in one hour. <laughs> I hope it don't happen. But it did the other day okay I'll shut it off and turn on when I get back there this is uh, more dirt that I put down today I've done most of this today because uh, this is a wet area I can't even mow most of the time you can see it's it's just wet Here's where the new garden's going to be. I planted uh, winter rye in there, and a bunch of weeds come up with it. This winter, the weeds will die off. I think the winter rye will keep growing. But put all this dirt down. Uh, water just flows over here, and it just stays here. So I wanted to try to get rid of that. And uh, the new pond's right past that fence right there I got a swale that runs all the way across and uh, I have to access access it this way through here I'm gonna try to keep this video short because it's just a long time to edit and upload see so far I'm all the way back to the uh, <clears throat> the back side of the pond, the uh, end of the pond here. So, all the way back to here. And uh, I, I only dug out a little bit of this today. I've been concentrating on the other side. I'll walk, walk over there and show you that. A lot of frogs there. They like to watch me when I work back here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. A couple right over there. Some swimming there. Anyway, that's going to be stocked with the uh, fish next spring. When I called the fish place, it was too late in the year. They told me to check back in the spring. Anyway, this is what I worked on today. And I think yesterday, when I started doing this, I think I was somewhere around in here. And now I'm all the way back here at the end of the pond. I think today when I started I was like right around in here. Yeah, yeah about right here. Because I remember this tree tree here that evidently he covered up. Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm back here now. So, I noticed my uh, these are cypress trees that I planted years ago. I, are them seeds? Anybody know? 
This tree's got a bunch of these balls on it. I, I would assume they're seeds. I, I have no idea. If they are, maybe I can start some <coughs> cypress trees. Uh, that's what I've done today. And hold it back. I finished digging that uh, horrible root out. If anybody knows what kind of grass that is, I just call it rhizome grass. I'm sure there's a name for it. Let me know. Put it down in the comment box. Uh, if you like my content, like my video, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, uh, see you on the next one. God bless. Take care. And I'll call this one quits. Bye. Well, I almost forgot uh, my fellow YouTuber, Kevin Wallace, wanted to know a little bit about my, my uh, new tractor here, which it belonged to my dad. And uh, when he passed away, about a month later, my mom told me I could go ahead and take it. So I did. I'd much rather have my dad, but I got the, this is tractor, so I'm using it. So he wanted me to uh, talk a little bit about it, so... There we go. And got a canopy on it, which is nice. It's hydrostatic. There's the brake pedals here for each wheel. Hydrostatic. That makes it go forward. That pedal makes it go backwards. Well, I guess that's a brake. I don't know. I'm still learning about it. This is a control lever lever for the uh, the uh, front end loader. <clears throat> Back lifts it up forward lets it down then left and right makes the uh, makes the uh, bucket you know go up or down that's four-wheel drive which is nice it's, it's a John Deere uh, 4400 I've got to buy a maintenance book for it because uh, I couldn't find one I'm sure my dad had one I, I don't know what happened to it it's got a 300 times loader. I think it's good for like 2,400 pounds. That's probably if you got weight in the back. I don't know. Uh, but that's about all I know about it right now. It's got, it's got cruise control. You get it going with the foot pedal, how fast you want to go, and you press this button right here. And it goes on its own, which is a knee saver. This thing will kills my knee. Uh, even with cru cruise control running it about three or four hours. I got to stop about every hour and, and walk around a little bit. This is for the, uh, let's see, this is to raise the, uh, the back uh, for the PTO. This is to raise it up and down. This lever here engages the PTO. Uh, I think this one Let's see. Well, I don't remember. Anyway, like I said, I don't have a manual for it. And I'm still learning things about it. This is the, the uh, brake, handbrake. And, of course, this is, uh, you know, fast and slow. And it's got different gears also. Uh, when I get to manual, I'll learn more about it. Yep. Basically, all I know about it. Um, it is a heck of a tractor. I can say that. I've <laughs> it's doing uh, more than I thought it could uh, when I first brought it here. I have moved tons and tons of dirt. But, uh, there you have it. So, Kevin, I hope if you see this, it's uh, it's about all I know about it, buddy. So, I'll catch you on the next one. God bless. Bye. I forgot to add something else, guys. Uh, gee, I'm dirty as can be. I've been out here working all day. I'll be out here all day tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. Anyway, I planted a bunch of stuff in here yesterday. Yesterday evening. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 rows. Uh, I planted some cold root weather crops like uh, I think I put kale in these two. Put mustard 
had a couple different kinds. I put radishes, uh, radishes, lettuce, beets. Um, I forget what all, but oh, uh, oh well. I'll remember it later probably <laughs> but yeah I got that and I planted a little thick I'll just uh, <clears throat> thin it out you know and that's why I want to get this bed over here prepared also get it all prepared and I can transplant a lot of this over in this bed so got a lot of work yet to do I gotta get the greenhouse ready to put the plastic on that's gonna take a lot of work but I'll get her done, Lord willing. So God bless, and finally, this is the end. See you on the next one. Bye.